Hi guys, I'm Moritz from Romantic Labs. I'm going to give you guys a quick demo and update on where we are with Raven. So we just brought out this new version. I'm going to give you a little rundown. Here I just have a model of downtown San Francisco and I've picked this nice plot where I'd like to do a massing uh, and like try some ideas on it. And so here I'm just going to draw a quick outline in my Rhino view of um, some idea I want to try. And so I'm just going to uh, reference this boundary curve uh, right here in, in Grasshopper. So I opened up Grasshopper. Now I'm going to click this button and then Raven will open up and I'll just ask Raven, please create a 45 story massing at this boundary, at this curve. And so you see, it's a little bit of a funky outline I have here for my building. Um, we're in downtown San Francisco, so 45 stories is really not too crazy. It'll be a pretty large building though. Um, as you see, Raven um, is now creating the new script. And because I have a curve already referenced on my canvas, I'll be able to make connections uh, and use that script. So I see my curve needs to be flipped, which is very quick. Here we go. And we have our first massing. Um, now, of course, the number of floors uh, is set here. So I can always go in and just, um, you know, change that to 50 or maybe maybe 35. I do think it's actually quite big right now. So that's that, that looks cool. Now, um, I have this idea for a diamond-shaped uh, facade. So I'm just going to ask Raven for add a diamond-shaped facade. And I think that would look uh, quite good here in this in this particular location. And of course, because uh, this is a curve I've referenced in Grasshopper, um, it remains totally flexible for me to come in and, and change you know, the boundary. Maybe if I end up uh, wanting some more daylight in it, I, I might just push back this corner so uh, we don't get too deep in our in our office building. Okay, so now Raven is actually trying to build this diamond-shaped facade, but it had an error, which it automatically corrected. And now here we go. We get the diamond-shaped facade, uh, which actually, it looks great, but uh, as you can see, the diamond size varies from surface to surface. So I'm just going to ask Raven to make sure the diamonds are always identical in size. Just so uh, even though I'm just trying out some ideas here, I would like the diamond shape to be sort of more uh, consistent. Okay, and as Raven goes and figures this out, there we go. We've got very small diamond shape now, but uh, here we go, we can actually adjust the height and width over the diamonds. So we can really make them exactly how we want them. So a little bit long like this. I think that looks quite good. And they're actually consistent now across the building. So of course, um, I have a certain floor area that I need to fulfill here uh, with this massing. So I'm just going to ask Raven, what is the total floor area of this massing? create the calculation. So I'm going to ask Raven to calculate that, but also I, I hope um, to keep that calculation on my canvas so I can keep referring to it as I try out different boundary curves and heights and, and things like that. So uh, Raven will create that calculation for me. So as you see, whenever I ask Raven for something, it adds uh, calculations here to my script. So there we go. I already get, got the panel that says total floor area. And this is actually in units right now because I didn't tell Raven uh, if my file is in meters or um, in inches. And so it just calculates with whatever unit the current file has. Here's what I get. And so as I update, um, for example, my, my number of floors and I go to, uh, let's go back to 45. Uh, you can see that the floor area, because it's a calculation, right, um, it also updates. Of course, the same is true if I change my boundary curve. So th this is actually quite cool. I think um, this would be a, a, a fun building uh, for this lot, but uh, I'm not so sure about the facade yet. So I'm going to ask Raven to uh, propose a different facade. So there's a couple of different fa facades that um, Raven might, we might want to try here. and so. Let's just see, there we go. 
now we've got a quad panel facade okay that's cool but uh, maybe i'm more interested in something like how about triangles i even misspelled that but as you see i can very quickly just try ideas and while and really work alongside raven so this is not a sort of uh, one one prompt and uh, i'm off but i really stay in full control here so now we've got some triangles going and can of course still adjust their size just as before mm. okay so now i'm actually interested uh, i want raven to add some geometry to this because currently it's all just surfaces and curves so um before we do that I will um, increase the size of the triangles because I, I do think, yeah, it'd be cool if they're nice and large like this. So that looks quite cool. And I'm going to ask Raven to pipe the facade curves. We get some sort of thickness and visual um, fidelity uh, to this, this, this triangle facade. Um, and then after that, I'm going to ask Raven to give thickness to the floor slabs and that should really just um sort of develop the visual feedback visual preview that we have here give us a little bit of a better idea um of what we're looking at and maybe what we're trying there we go so uh i'm going to ask raven to give thickness to the floor slabs and in the meantime i see that the piping is really quite thin so um, I might just come in here and, 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 and create a sort of more thickness for those um, for those pipes. So if we now um, turn off some of the other previews that uh, we really don't need them anymore, now we just see the geometry, the thickness um, to our facade and also to the floor uh, slabs that have been added by now. And so with this uh, ready to go, I'm now going to open up the hood a little bit and look inside. So. Uh, this is the Raven interface and it has a little setting button at the top and as you see and maybe you're familiar with the plugin I've been using for this demo it's called Lunchbox and you can see in here that uh, Raven has recognized Lunchbox uh, to be installed in my current system and I have made a sub selection of uh, component groups that I want Raven to use um, while I work with them and that was saved and used in every inter iteration whenever I asked the question so I'm going to actually turn off those lunchbox uh, components and instead I'm going to go up here to the display. So uh, the grayed out components are all the sort of pre-built, like uh, pre-shipped or built within Grasshopper components um, that we've made a pre-selection out of. So Raven has access to some of these components at all times, but you know, if I might, I might be interested to send, uh, to create a ladybug script. So I can go in here and, and make a sub-selection of those components, component groups that I sent along, or in, in my case now, actually, I'm just going to select the entire display group because I, I'm going to ask Raven to create a custom preview of the facade types and floor labs set colors color values panels so i'm going to ask raven um to create a preview and because i've just selected the, um, the display subgroup of components uh, which is also the one i have open here right now you see raven will be able to set colors um, and and create materials and, and create a custom preview for us for for this massing which then maybe i want to use uh, when I show this uh, to my team um, so that we don't have to uh, use a standard uh, grasshopper preview here, um, but maybe get something more colorful. Uh, it also brings out the, the structure and geometry of this massing a little bit better. So as Raven uh, prepares that, I also see we still have um, points and other things previewed like this. So. Um, I'm actually going to come in here and turn off the preview for some more of these um, structures. So really the uh, ability of Raven to use plugins is, is, is very dynamic. So whatever uh, plugin you have installed, you might have proprietary uh, software also installed on your system. Uh, Raven can recognize that and build them into it, its scripts. So here we go, uh, we've got a new preview right here, a custom preview made by Raven. Um, 
Of course, we still have also our little floor area calculation here. Uh, it's very gray, so make it more colorful and playful. I really think uh, given the white mo model of the city that we have right here, we, we might be interested in something a little bit more interesting. Um, and at the same time, the, the diamond facade is maybe, there we go. Now we get a gray, green and red one. Okay. I'm going to actually reduce the size of this uh, diamond facade again to something maybe 15. There we go. Uh, it's actually a triangle or facade. And uh, maybe the one more thing we want to try, switch back, turn off display, switch back to lunchbox panelization and say, which the facade back to diamonds and make the preview color something like dark blue. So yeah, that's uh, how quickly you can work alongside Raven uh, with something like uh, a building massing and include whatever plugins you already use in your workflow uh, with Raven and really stay in full control um, throughout that uh, sort of iteration and and going back and forth uh, yeah thank you very much for checking it out you know raven is actually for free you can try it uh, get a little bit of usage out of it if you just go to romantic.technology uh, and you can download it there with just one click thanks for watching